mission of Pratt Intermodal Chassis is to produce superior intermodal chassis. That, that's what we exist for. And in the bigger context of, of that, intermodal chassis exist for the purpose of delivering goods to people. You know, we, we receive goods through uh, ships, through trains, but ultimately, if they're gonna get to their final destination, they have to go over the road. And the only way to get them over the road, if they're in a container, is with a chassis. So it's our job, not only to produce superior intermodal chassis, but to keep the supply chain in the United States strong and robust. So NACPAC is a cooperative of 11 motor carriers. And as the ocean carriers began to divest of chassis, those motor carriers weren't happy with how those rules were playing out. And so NACPAC was created to create an alternative chassis leasing model in the international chassis space. Pride Industries had been a supplier for both TCW, where I worked previous to NACPAC, and is one of the cooperative members of the North American Chassis Pool Cooperative, and also to NACPAC. Uh, so familiar with that company for a long time, but I learned that they were uh, recently acquired by private equity and they were looking to sell uh, Pratt Industries. And so we reached out to them and began the discussions of NACPAC acquiring the intermodal chassis portion of Pratt Industries. Yeah, so the North American, American Chassis Pool uh, serves the international chassis market and our customers are varied. We have motor carriers that are customers, but we also have ocean carriers, uh, 3PLs, and then the actual shippers and receivers of the cargo. We've used different suppliers, but the majority of those chassis traditionally came from the Chinese market. When the uh, U.S. government put the tariffs on the Chinese chassis, it increased the price of chassis about 225%. Uh, and so they stopped importing those chassis. There wasn't enough production available domestically to meet uh, the supply. And so NACPAC was having a difficult time getting orders placed for delivery. Before, we could order a thousand chassis, have them delivered in six months. Now, if you order a thousand chassis, it might take a year or longer to get those units. So we weren't able to get the chassis that our customers were demanding at the rate that they were requesting them. Well, for one thing, there's a lot more chassis being produced at Pratt Industries. We call it Pratt, you know, intermodal chassis now, or PIC, but there probably were about five chassis a day being produced when we acquired the company in December of 21. And now we're producing 22 to 23 chassis a day. So a lot more production that has taken place over that period of time. I think the challenge that was presented to us when, when uh, NACPAC first acquired us was to get to 28 out the gate. That was the, that was the big number, 28 out the gate. And the goal was to try to get there by July. Uh, we used uh, modeling with uh, our ability to be able to hire in the past and you, trying to roll that forward, we felt it was a, it was a challenge that we could meet. Uh, the change in the workforce after COVID just com it, it just completely altered the dynamic of us to be able to hire at the same pace. So that's all, that's got altered now to a number of 30 a day. So in a 30 a day by January, we, we do have line of sight for that. And at 30 a day, that does meet the commitment that, that NACPAC has as an expectation for PIC at this point. And then who knows where we go from there with, with being able to open up capacity to go beyond that. Yeah, so we're able to be able to talk to our customers about a delivery schedule and know that we can meet that delivery schedule because we control the manufacturing component of that. One of the things that we've had to do over the last couple of years because chassis aren't as readily available is make customers think in two and three year time frames. So if they want 2,000 chassis, we can get them, but it might take them a year and a half to get those 2,000 chassis. And so we found customers willing to do that. Pratt being a wholly owned subsidiary of NACPAC, we, uh, we were able to get uh, secure production, right? And we, we weren't fighting uh, against everybody out there. We, uh, we got our production and we were able to, uh, to make changes in the, uh, the style of production to align format similar to automotive and increase the number of units out the door every week. That, uh, that increase in the number of units out the door every week has been extremely beneficial to us, putting, uh, putting good quality and, and higher quantities into the market. Our third core value is all about 
customer success. And it ties in issues of quality, delivery, efficiency. We want our customers to receive the very best intermodal chassis that they can because our name's on the side of it. And when you put your name on something, you want it to reflect the very best that is in you. But not only quality, but we want them to receive what they ask for when they ask for it. Timing is very important in this business. Request a quote today at fatchassis.com.